A pleasant day to all of us educators. I am engineer Oliver C. Silvano, uh, the, the developer of the Le Silvertech Learning Management System. Okay, for today's video, I am going to create a tutorial on how to fix one of the problems encountered during account setup. Okay, the problem is Silvertech LMS has no machine ID. So these are the common problems that we encountered when we are going to set up our account. Of course, the processing event is during account setup. Okay, the cause of this problem is that there is another application or service running in port 9001. By the way, this port is the one that the LMS or the Silvertech Learning Management System is using. Okay, the name of that application is the Intel Graphics Command Center. Uh, most of the time, this this is this is the name of the application. Okay, the solution for that problem is you are going to stop that application, the Intel Graphics Command Center, or that service, and disable it in the startup. Okay, so without further ado, I am going to demonstrate you on how to fix that problem. Okay, uh, first we need to take a look at with our Silvertech Learning Management System. So if you are going to set up your account using the Activate you, uh, using the ZN Div Authenticator by clicking this uh, button, you are prompt into this um, uh, dialog box wherein you are going to enter your PTS ID, your TIN, your your username, and your decide, desired password, and of course the machine ID. Of course the machine ID here is system generated but some of the uh, LMS installed on the uh, on 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 your computer does not display this machine ID so mine uh, it displayed because because I don't have uh, an Intel graphics uh, Intel Intel graphics command center installed on my computer so it, it doesn't have any conflict with port uh, 9001 but in any case that you encountered this uh, error that machine ID cannot be displayed, then you are going to fix that one using this technique. Okay? So, as I was saying, we need a machine ID in order for us to create our, our user token successfully, you know? Because this machine ID will be registered to our system. Okay? So, to do that, uh, to fix this problem, we are going to close this application. We are going to close that Cybertech Learning Management System uh, for now, okay? So, after that, you are going to, uh, I have here listed, uh, listed the steps. So, the first one is to close the Cybertech LMS application. So, I've already did it, uh, did it. okay? Then, uh you have to press window plus r in the keyboard so you are going to press window plus r to run this run dialog box okay after that we are going to type services services dot msc so that's this one services dot msc and then the next thing to do is you are going to hit enter or click on start uh on this okay okay so, for this demonstration, I'm going to click OK. Okay? And then, after that, the services window will appear, no? And then, we are going to look for, so, we have this one. Look for Intel Graphics Command Center from the services dialog box. So, I think it's in the middle. And anyway, anyway, the services are arranged alphabetically in uh, ascending order. So we just look for I and then find that Intel Intel Graphics uh, Command Center. So you should find or you should look uh, that Intel Graphics Command Center. Mine, as I was saying, Intel Graphics Command Center is not installed. So for this demonstration, I will be just using this uh, Intel HD Graphics Control Panel service. Okay. After looking that Intel Graphics Command Center, you are going to write. Uh, sorry, this one, right click. So, right click on Intel Graphics Command Center and select Stop. Okay? So, we are going to uh, right click on this Intel and then click on Stop. 
Okay, we will wait for a while and then that service is being stopped. So after doing that, we have this. Uh, you need to right click again, again, uh, right click again on Intel Graphics Command Center and then select properties. So we need to right click on this uh, Intel Intel Graphics Control Panel uh, that is replacement for Intel Graphics Command Center and click on properties and then from this properties window okay in the startup parameter we have this startup parameter window select disabled and click apply so we are going to click this automatic uh, to drop down and click on disabled and after that click on apply okay and then click ok and close the services so i'm going to click this ok and then i am going to close that services and after that uh, it's time to check whether the the problem is being fixed or resolved okay so you are going to run your solver tick solver tick learning management system using the um system launcher Okay, system launcher. Okay, so to do that, I am going to look for my launcher. This is my launcher. So I'm going to double click that one only once and then wait for a while for the system to load in our computer. So again, I am here in my uh, login screen and I'm going to check whether I can get the serial now or get the machine ID by clicking on this get serial. So Yan po, uh, the serial is being uh, displayed and I hope the problem is being solved, no? So let's try cl uh, clicking on this activate using the ZND authenticator and it should display your machine ID here. Okay, then that's it and I hope your problem is being fixed with this uh, tutorial and again, thank you.